Hey everybody, how's it going out there? Adap11 here, finally with another video, three weeks later. Yeah, I came down with another bug right after my son. Again, second time this season. Be careful out there, everybody. There's some nasty stuff going on out there. So anyways, uh, yeah, I knocked just out of commission. But hey, I wanted to share with you my next video uh, since I'm in the middle of a few reviews. I wanted to show you some projects that I kind of just finished up. Now, I have one whole right side. It's like a, I think these are called attorney bookshelves. And I have my action figures, my three and three quarter inch action figures set up. So I'm gonna show you the villains that I have. Most of this will be Star Wars, but we'll start off here with the bottom shelf, which is actually G.I. Joe, mostly G.I. Joe. And we see here I have the bats. I always thought those guys were really cool. You can change out their hands and whatnot. Might not be the best color combination, uh, yellow and black, but uh, I think they're cool. I don't know what's up with my focus right now why it's not working all that well. I'm not using my stand here just because it was too difficult because I'm right now pretty low. So we see here I have a, all these other figures, Destro and Wraith and Major Blood, Serpentor up here, both of them. Well, he looks more, he's more cool looking just because he looks like he has a bunch of ceremonial garb on and the idea of him being a cloned, uh, a multitude of villains or I should say tyrants from Earth's history and cloned into one being. I like that idea. That was before its time back in the 80s if you think about it. But uh, you can't take that outfit seriously on the battlefield. That's yeah, just a little ridiculous and it is over the top. But I think the fact that he was all juiced up and we were all up into Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies at that time with Running Man and Predator and whatnot. I, I always liked Arnold. I always thought his movies were just kick butt. You know, I'm hey, I'm born in the 70s you know, all the way through the 80s, the fun times, everybody, Sylvester Stallone and everybody, the action heroes were just all crazy, ripped up and muscular. And, you know, they had to do that, catch on to that. So he's all buffed up. So we have here are the zombies. They're pretty cool. I think the detail is pretty good. I, eh, I should not have probably have sold the two that I had sealed because these guys are really nice. I think, but I won't, I'm not here for a review for these guys. Just going to go ahead and show you. And I also have this that I got for, it's got like a nice diorama set up. Now let's kind of get over here. Here's a Microman. I think he's a pretty cool setup. I forget his name. Sorry about that. I don't have too many Micromen or Micronauts anymore, only due to the fact that, man, they are fragile. So they're just uh, not cost effective. Yeah, but this one I, I gambled. I forget what I bought them for. And he hasn't broken, so thus far it's good. Well, anyways, here we can see we have Tron uh, figures. I think that they could go well with a storyline and stop motion. One of these days I'll get one going once I learn. So we can see here there's a vehicle right there. I have foam core all in the background, so it's not the color of wood. I'm going to give people vertigo. <laughs> uh, with all this movement and whatnot. Now I have the Dreadnoughts, and now I have this... Uh, Terminator 3 uh, helicopter from a six inch figure collection. And anyways, it had Terminator and the female Terminator, both of them. But if you look at it, it kind of goes really well with a, a crashed ship. And so here the Dreadnoughts are, they're scrapping it for parts, baby. They're getting everything they can. They're scrounging here. This is like Mad Max realm. They're going to take all the parts they can get. And here we have Zartan, one of my favorite GI Joe villains. More so, not because he was a villain, but he was more, he was mystique. He could get away with, he could fight the fight with his mind and his manipulation. I'm not into manipulation. You know, I'm, I'm a Jedi guy. I like the Jedis and I like the good guys. But there is something about Zartan and he seemed to have more sense and calm to him uh, than some of the other leaders like Cobra Commander um, seemed to get out of control sometimes. And then you have Destro and his lust. Uh, anyways, I'm getting into the philosophy of that. But anyways, I like Zartan. Now, here's his daughter on the right. And I'm not going to get into naming everybody else here. But you got the old crew in the back. There's a monkey wrench in here somewhere. Oh, it's back to us. Now, here you can see I also have some parts from the fig, uh, Matrix figures. So that goes good as well with the diet. I think there was one each with uh, Neo and Trinity. So I think those parts go really well. You can make them into a crash scene. And here you got these guys just bashing it up Mad Max style. So there you have it. The bottom row in full. And I think that the foam core 
really gets the figures to stand out much better because I don't have a, an appropriate background set yet for it. Um, so it would look better than that color would right there. Anyways, let's get on to the next level. Level two. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. So here we have the Imperial Forces. Now we can see the Imperial Command is on our left. And I know that I have General uh, Grandma, or I should say Grandma Tarkin, three of them. We have the youngest one in the center. But I didn't want to leave them out. I got to switch positions of comfort here. Now, what's really cool is you see the Death Star walls. Now, I do have the Galactic Trading Post Death Star walls, but I don't have enough to fulfill the background of all of this. So I went to Frank Diorama's workshop. Thank God he's kind enough to go ahead and share all that with us because I utilized it and I think it looks very well. Now, so here I went to Frank's uh, website. I'll leave all that uh, stuff on the bottom. And I just took the foam core and uh, luckily I had enough ink and I printed these out on the stickers and there we have it. Now I have some uh, affordable Death Star walls. Death, Death Star walls. Now we can see here in the back, oh, well, Hopefully the lighting will be fair enough because of course, you know, there's only one window in this room. So yeah, thank you, Frank, for putting that out there for us. I think the Death Star walls have turned out really well. So here we go. Here's more of my command. There we go. So now we're getting into the stormtroopers. Wow, the lighting, you know, I just, I kind of move and then the, it just goes extreme, right? There's a, uh, extreme bright to not so bright. So sorry about that. Okay, now here we have everybody for Tantooine. Not everybody, because I have some of them loose. My, my boy's got one. Got to let him play with uh, some. And for four and a half years old, he's actually done a pretty good job thus far. So... This second row right here is my Joker squad. Now, I, of course, I have two additional Jokers in there. Or I mean, Joker squad members. Now, I just added in the very back, I added a, the Stormtrooper from Battle on Endor because he has a sniper rifle or blaster sniper rifle. And uh, one of a set of five that I purchased on eBay, and he was from China, probably used, mass-produced, a little bit dirty, but good enough. He has, of course, the clone um, Jango Fett head with the scar on his face. So we have uh, two additional members on my Joker squad. All right, now we hear just troopers, more troopers. So this is pretty much all my army builders up there. Now here we do have a space trooper. I really very much like this one. It's pretty cool. He's from Build a Droid. Now I do own, I don't have that many biker scouts. I do need to open one up that I do have on my wall, but that still doesn't give me many at all because that only gave me five. And this was one of my favorite designs when I was a kid. I thought very highly of that armored design. Now here are, of course are the Hoth troopers. Immediately, I associate them with the, the KKK and their hooded links. So that's going to instantly drive home the that kind of hatred and that kind of evil uh, where they're <laughs> evil. So there we have these guys. And I think that that's exactly why they did it. And also, why did they call stormtroopers stormtroopers? Because the in World War One at the beginning of World War Two, the German armies, infantry, were called stormtroopers. Yep. So, uh, and then if you take a look at the, the stuff here, what do they look like? Exactly. So, did, I mean, uh, George Lucas did well in provoking certain subconscious, uh, historical subconscious uh, emotions that would draw uh, in the subconscious mind of the crowd. Very wise. I tell you, there's a lot to Star Wars a lot of people don't think about. Now we have here the at, -AT drivers. My first, my original one's all dirty in the back. Okay, and I just recently opened up a, a, another ATST that I have uh, I found at Walmart um, 2016, the Black Series. So now I have a, at least a, a decent amount of ATST drivers. 
but we do have a spy back there. And I do have one in the back there that I got from T-Biz. Finally, I opened him up. What up, T-Biz? Now we have over here, we have my TIE Fighter pilots. And their leader, Phil Baron. So, there we go. There are the Imperial forces. Let me pan back. Yeah, I think the Death Star walls came out really well. All right, now it's time for the Sith Lords. Okay, let's start with Darth Vader. I have a few of them. Here's one that I... Come on, focus. There we go. Missing his legs on that one. Here is Battle Damage. I really like the Battle Damaged from Build a Droid. Here he is fighting Star Killer. And we have here, what was it, 300 or 500? Three or 500? I know that's a big difference in numbers, but it was a Revenge of the Sith era. I finally opened this one up. I did a trade with uh, T-Biz and ended up with a Kenner... Um, Imperial Star Destroyer from uh, Empire Strikes Back. I was thinking, well, you know what? Uh, I started the review on this, but I never finished it. I do have to do that. I have to finish it. Because I want to see if I could put this in that Star Destroyer. And it doesn't look like I'll be able to, but that's for another time for another video. Here we have in the back, we have, uh, of course, uh, Anakin just hiding out in the corner. And we have here from Revenge of the Sith where he's being created into his armor. One of my favorite figures right there in the back. Vintage Collection Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker Mustafar. One of, I mean, that, that figure just very menacing, great articulation, the, the sculpting, everything, the, the eyes, the scar. Yep, he's one of my favorites. Anyways, there's Kylo Ren. I know he's not a Sith Lord, but he's still Skywalker that can use the uh, Force powers. And there again is a damaged Anakin Darth Vader with feet. Imperial Guards. Now the, oh yes, and I want to get to these really cool, really super cool Death Star space walls from Galactic Trading Post. Now you can see here, now these, I mean, I love these things. I'm going to definitely have to get some more because you can put LED lights or any light behind here and they'll shine right through. I did a video on that, so if you want to check that out, take a look. I really like them a lot. I just, uh, at the moment, cannot afford enough to fulfill all this, this space right now. So anyways, here we have more. I recently did one on Malgus. Fortunately, I don't have anything covering the floor down here. Now this one I, did a trade with MG Villain. I had one, he knew I was gonna open it. So we did it. I started the review on that one as well. And I just haven't done the diorama photos. <laughs> and that's all I need to do because I've done the review. So this one is one of my favorite as well as far as the face sculpt is. I mean that, you know, oops, oh, oh goodness, goodness gracious. God, I'm so lucky I didn't break that. That was a mess that damn thing down right now wow that scared me that would have been now this has been in my family this has been in my family for th on the fourth generation yeah so party foul on mine maybe i should have used this stand well anyways there we have uh now i'm not a big fan of the different tone of cloth and the mink looking jacket that he has but that face and the lightning and the lightsaber it, that's just sick that's one of my favorite faces right there and probably the best performance in I believe my personal opinion I thought he was the best performance in Revenge of the Sith I just thought he did nobody could do it better like that I thought his performance Ian's performance was completely underrated now here I have a bunch of emperors More. There we go. Oh, yep, yep. You know what? He's going to creep in there. He ain't too happy. Is he going to pop up sometime? 
in the Disney Star Wars universe? We don't know yet. All right, well, anyways, here are my Sith Lords. Now, as you can see, as I pan back, the wood color really does take away from showcasing the figures. Um, so this is a temporary, and I will have to do something to remedy it. Now let's go up one more level. And now this right here, which is pretty much some diorama parts that I have from Micronauts, Rifle Racks, from Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, and uh, characters a little bit outside of New Hope to Revenge, uh, Return of the Jedi. So we have here, we have a Revenge of the Sith, General Grievous, Rex, Delta Squad. Man, this guy is just, I really like this. Tracta, Grand Moff Tracta. Of course, then we have Delta Squad. Again, another beautiful set that I received in a trade with TBiz. You gotta check his channel out too. He's been putting up a lot of really cool Masters of the Universe um, figures, classics. And they, they are really cool. Gotta check them out. So, yep, I just put these guys up here. And then here are some more from uh, Clone Wars. Now we're gonna get, cool, we're gonna go ahead and get into my small, small Mandalorian set. Ah, I really need to work on my Mandalorian. So you can see here that I have a young Jango Fett, prototype Bobo Fett. I really like that one. I'll, actually, I like all these figures right here. Vintage. Uh, vintage collection, Boba Fett, BC, Django, and this imposter whose name I can't, uh, Jodo Cast, I think. Um, was that his name? Anyways, I used the, uh, the thruster effects from uh, Boba Fett Saga and put it with him because it fits in the bottom of his thrusters, not with the vintage collections. Anyways, there's a cheesy prince, prince, whatever, Zulu, uh, Zandamir, whatever his name was. I really don't remember what his name was. But anyways, now we're getting into the other bounty hunters. Here's some more Death Star walls by Galactic Trading Post toys. And this is from for the six inch figures, but they cover a lot of space. So that's why I got them. As you can see here, pan back. So here we have more of my uh, bounty hunters. Ending soon, watched item ends in 14 minutes. Something from Empire Toy Works. That's a flash warning that I just got on my phone. So yeah, I don't have that many bounty hunters. So this this floor is really cool. This is an original Kenner uh, action figure carrying assortment case. One of two, I don't have the other one. And I had to repaint it because it was it was just ugly. And now it's a suitable floor. Here are my Astromex. I don't have enough of them for the Imperial officers, nor do I have enough of the androids. But with time, you know. Well, anyways, there you have it. There is the top row. And you can see the big difference with that, that wood is just gonna have to get covered up. And well, I should say this wasn't the very top row. Here is the top row. And it pretty much just has my Imperial shuttle, some ec way extra Darth Vader's that my son can play with. And I really like this. This is an underrated ship right here. This Republic shuttle, very good. Well, okay, so there we have it. Just wanted to go ahead and show you, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and show you since we're into the villains here, but this isn't set up very well. But here are the other, uh, some other villains, and we might as well go ahead and show you. Well, looks like he got tipped over. All right, so more villains. I said villains, so I might as well show you the rest. Here we have, of course, all Tantooine slash Boba Fett. Sorry about the lighting, because the lights are like six feet behind me now. I didn't think I'd come in here. Should have pre-planned that out, Adapa. So anyways, you can see here, here's a really cool, I like this uh, Black Series Jabba a lot. It fits well on here. I like the diorama background. 
for the price you can't beat it i think i got it for i don't remember like 10 15 bucks not even that i don't even think i got it for that of course here's the band up oh, more guys tipped over oh, several guys tipped over there in the corner yeah a lot so and then have my rancor down here the difference and the sea of bones that they have left behind and up here it's not very organized but here is the other set of Tantooine so this would be I guess a collection of intermarry intermarry you know you have the intermediates there that are just the smugglers and doing what they can get to get by and then you have villains bounty hunters and and whatnot here in Mos Eisley so again, sorry about the lighting there. I just figured yeah, I was right here. Just might as well take a look at it real quick. Still have some work to do. Of course, I'm going to have some Joes in there. Belloc. Zartan. Well, okay. Well, there we have it. I guess that's it uh, for my villains. Now, uh, for the three and three quarter inch action figures... Now, my, when I get, go ahead and get everything set up and organize more for my action figures for the Rebels, I'll go ahead and do a video for that because I do have a few of those, but they're just not organized right now. All right, everybody. Hey, I appreciate it. Um, pan back so you can just go ahead and see. There we go. Still have a bit of work to do, but this is a little bit of the Star Wars room here. So, yeah, my boy really eats it up when he gets in here. I got to really watch out. So... Anyways, there we go. There's my villains set. And I really appreciate the time and the thumbs up. And everybody, take care out there. Really appreciate it. May the force be with you. Take care. Goodbye.